I'm Halise Flexine, and we're interviewing today Sarah Simmons from The Voice, and she's going to be signed with... Soon? Soon, possibly Capitol Records, we'll see. Awesome. There's, a cu- there's a couple things are happening, but yeah. Awesome. And how was it working with Adam Levine, your coach on The Voice? <laughs> it was really good. He, um, he definitely encouraged me a lot, and uh, he's basically like a big a big nerdy brother (laughs) and um yeah it was it was incredible it definitely changed my life so and what is he like in real person real life real life thank you he's well yeah like nerdy he's goofy like yeah (laughs) but in a in a great way like he's really it's and he has like a sarcastic dry humor but yeah it's good (laughs) Were you nervous when you first auditioned for The Voice? I actually was not. I actually felt like um, this intense peace over me. And um, I, I felt like drunk almost, but I definitely was like, maybe, maybe it was a chamomile tea. I don't know, <laughs> um, but it was good. <laughs> and your family was there supporting you. Yeah, you definitely saw my dad bawling his eyes out. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who else was there supporting you? Um, Well, some friends and then my man, Greg Langston, and um, my dad and my mom. So basically a little bit of your fam because you can only have a certain amount of people. Right. But. (laughs) And has the other um, cast members or judges been supportive of you as well? They have. I actually got all four chairs and um, ended up choosing Adam, but like Blake Shelton was behind scenes was like so supportive and even uh miranda lambert his, his wife. wife yeah was yeah. a huge fan and um he even was like miranda stop posting about her she's not <laughs> on my team <laughs> but she they were great they're so great and um yeah because adam and blake always are in competition with yeah, one another are. yeah <laughs> it's yeah. goofy <laughs> And then, of course, Adam had said, you know, I hate America situation after you and Judy. um, Yeah, Judith uh, Judith Hill. Yeah, she's one of my good buddies. Had been eliminated from from The Voice at that time. And I was devastated myself because, you know, I'm a big fan. So, (laughs) (laughs) well, you know what? It's like you don't actually you almost if you're a writer and stuff, you actually don't really want, you know, want to win because then, you know, you're. Obviously, when we signed a label, regardless, you're going to be molded and, right. um, you know, and and that's a good thing sometimes because they help with being, you know, help you focus and find, you know, your sound even more and um, hone it in. But, um, yeah, no, it it was perfect the time I left because I met just the right people at the right time. And it was being a writer myself. It really allowed me to be able to, to still stay, stay true to me and grow. Yeah. And are you still friends with Judith? I am. Yeah, she's one of my best best buddies, and Amber Carrington. And um, it's crazy because on the show, you know, everybody else is watching, and um, it's like you know, comp- it seems very. It's obviously competitive, but in the backdrop, it's not really competitive to us. It's more like we want to cry when someone leaves because it's like family. Because yeah, yeah. you know, I was on the show for like eight and a half eight and a half months or so, like just in the hotel, you know, with all of them, and um, you get really close, so. That's awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> and, then, and now you're moving from Los Angeles to Tennessee. Yeah. Well, so. And I lived in, yeah, I lived in, uh, I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. Yeah, but I live, uh, I lived in Memphis for a while, and then moved to L.A., and now we're in Arizona right now, <laughs> but in the middle of uh, moving to Nashville, Tennessee, so. Love it. <laughs> I'm excited. So what's your long-term future plans as far as career, life, whatever? Yeah, well, um, I have a lot of dreams, and I think dreams always keep going. Um, well, I hear you're on a movie, aren't you? I am in a movie <laughs> with this la- this lady right here, Bogey and Bacall. Um, and then there's another movie that I'm going to be singing for, possibly acting for a little bit, but it's called The Last Christmas Ride. And that was written by Edie Hand. And, um, and she's got some incredible supporters and um, doing that. But also I'm going to be working with uh, this woman named Deb Laurie. Deborah Laurie, and she um, is a composer, does a lot of Tim Burton films. And um, she's going to basically use me as her muse for this project she's doing. And um, that actually is going to happen in a couple weeks in California. And then 
Um, yeah, there's my band and I, there's six of us. We just had this big showcase and um, a bunch of people responded, labels and um, agents and managers, but it's awesome. finding the right one, you know, and it's, it's, it's about it, relationships. Exactly. Right? You trust the part you right, that you're working right. with. Right, right. And also it's, you know, being a musician, it's a roller coaster, you know, yeah. because, and just in the entertainment in general, yeah. um, just because, you know, you can't get too excited about certain things because you're like, what will fall through, what will not. Um, but you're grateful for them. And I'm definitely feeling movement for the first time. Didn't you tell me about a... Uh how you call it, Scorsese and Gina, Gina Davis movie or yeah, something? That's a possi- that's a yeah. possibility. Um, I know Gina Davis possibly was going to be in one of the films that I mean, The Last Christmas Ride. Oh. Yeah, she's a possibility for one of them. And then oh, Kenny okay. Rogers is a possibility. Oh, but I actually met him. <laughs> really? Yeah. He seems really cool. Yeah. Not he just in person, but now, his commercials. <laughs> like, what was that commercial with the cards? Oh, and yeah. Was, that was a... <laughs> no when to hold them. Yeah, and they're like, okay, Kenny. That's, thanks. Thanks a lot. That's good. <laughs> but anyway, you know what I love the that song "Fall." Love oh, the thank song you. "Fall." I mean, I played it over and over and over and over. That was again. even Joe has heard it. Uh, really? <laughs> thank you, Joe. <laughs> yeah, that was. Uh, I've got you know the songs from the voice and then two singles out uh "Fall" and then "Our Story." And um, I wrote "Our Story" with some of my friends, but. Um, Fall actually was written by my good friend Sherry Short, mm-hmm. and she um, used to be backup singer for Demi Lovato, but she writes for everybody Love in the that sun. Song. Yeah, that song. thank you. Love Album's that. coming out soon, yeah. but um, I know she'll definitely keep you posted. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm great. I'm just going to interrupt and say I watched both videos. To, well, the one's not a video. It's on YouTube, but it's the, just yeah. the picture and, of the, and the words the of fall. fall. Yeah, and then I wa- and then I watched um, the story, and those are the two I've watched others, but those are the two I watched most often when I watch. Oh, that's a thank them. you, I thank you. Them. Oh, he's so sweet. <laughs> what a good person to have here. He's amazing. Joe's awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've been a long time friends. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Can you sing a little bit of the fall, if you don't mind? Sing it. Well, I went. Oh, we're actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's. Right. I'm actually at a worship service yeah. at the, at the moment <laughs> at uh, in Sun Valley, in Gilbert, Arizona. We've done one, two, three, four, four services so far. We have one more left. <laughs> Hanging awesome. by a thread. <laughs> <laughs> Go YouTube it. iTunes it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for the interview, oh, and I just love you. I you love know I love you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. It's gonna be awesome. Go the call. Woo!